Hey there, health enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the world of cholesterol, a substance that often gets a bad rap. But here's the truth. Cholesterol is crucial for our bodies to function correctly. It's a waxy, fat-like substance found in every cell and plays a vital role in building cells, producing hormones, and digesting food. Think of cholesterol as a busy worker bee, constantly buzzing around your body. It travels through your bloodstream in little packages called lipoproteins. You see, cholesterol can't dissolve in blood on its own, so these lipoproteins act as its transportation system. Now you might have heard of good and bad cholesterol. These terms refer to the two main types of lipoproteins that carry cholesterol, high-density lipoprotein, HDL, and low-density lipoprotein, LDL. Understanding the difference between these two is key to understanding your heart health. So buckle up as we demystify the world of cholesterol and learn how to keep those levels in check. Let's start with the bad guy, LDL cholesterol. Remember those lipoproteins? Well, LDL is like a delivery truck that can sometimes take a wrong turn. When there's too much LDL cholesterol in your blood, it can build up inside your arteries. Imagine these arteries as highways for your blood. Over time, this buildup, called plaque, narrows the arteries, making it harder for blood to flow through. This blockage can lead to heart disease, heart attacks, and stroke. Now, onto the hero HDL cholesterol. Think of HDL as a garbage truck, diligently picking up excess cholesterol from your arteries and transporting it back to your liver for processing and removal. Higher levels of HDL cholesterol are associated with a lower risk of heart disease because it helps keep those arteries clean and clear. So remember, LDL is like a delivery truck that can get stuck, while HDL is like a garbage truck that cleans up the mess. Maintaining a healthy balance between the two is crucial for optimal heart health. For years, we've been told that dietary cholesterol found in foods like eggs and shellfish is the main culprit behind high cholesterol levels. However, recent studies have challenged this notion. Research suggests that saturated and trans fats found in processed foods, fried foods, and fatty meats have a more significant impact on raising LDL cholesterol levels than dietary cholesterol itself. Furthermore, emerging studies highlight the importance of looking beyond just the numbers on a cholesterol panel. The size and particle number of LDL cholesterol particles may be more critical than the total LDL cholesterol level alone. Smaller, denser LDL particles are more likely to get trapped in the artery walls, contributing to plaque buildup. This emphasizes the need for a more nuanced approach to cholesterol management, focusing on overall dietary patterns and lifestyle factors rather than just restricting cholesterol-rich foods. Now that we've debunked some common cholesterol myths, let's talk about actionable steps you can take to maintain healthy cholesterol levels. First and foremost, focus on adopting a heart-healthy diet. Load up on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and lean protein sources. These foods are naturally low in saturated and trans fats and rich in fiber, which can help lower LDL cholesterol levels. Incorporate heart-healthy fats, such as those found in avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. These fats can help increase HDL cholesterol levels and promote overall cardiovascular health. Regular physical activity is another cornerstone of healthy cholesterol management. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Exercise helps raise HDL cholesterol and lower LDL cholesterol, improving your cholesterol ratio. Don't forget about stress management. Chronic stress can negatively impact cholesterol levels. Find healthy ways to manage stress, such as yoga, meditation, or spending time in nature. Remember, this information is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice. While these general guidelines can empower you to make healthier choices, it's essential to work with your healthcare provider to determine the best course of action for your individual needs. They can assess your risk factors, order appropriate blood tests, and provide personalized recommendations for managing your cholesterol levels. Don't hesitate to ask questions and be an active participant in your healthcare journey. Your healthcare provider can also help you determine if medications, such as statins, are necessary to lower your cholesterol levels and reduce your risk of heart disease. They can monitor your progress, make adjustments to your treatment plan as needed, and address any concerns you may have. 
Understanding cholesterol and its impact on our health is crucial for maintaining a healthy heart and overall well-being. By adopting a holistic approach that encompasses a balanced diet, regular exercise, stress management, and personalized guidance from your healthcare provider, you can take control of your cholesterol levels and reduce your risk of heart disease. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about cholesterol, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions about your health. So embrace a proactive approach to your well-being and start taking steps today to prioritize your heart health. Your future self will thank you. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more health tips.